Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on determining the surface area of a prism. Now in a previous video we looked at the surface area of a cuboid and we saw that the surface area just means the total area of all the faces. So if for example you had a present you were giving someone for Christmas and you needed to wrap that present, the surface area would tell you how much wrapping paper you would need. Now some people find it helpful to label the different faces and then find the area of each in turn. So let's say this front face is face one, this back face here we're going to call face two, let's say this face coming up like this is face three, the back face is four and the bottom face is five. So let's find the area of each of those faces and then we're just going to add them up. So face one, that is a triangle. And remember, the area of a triangle is just base times height divided by 2. So base times height divided by 2, that's 60 over 2, that's 30 centimetres squared. Now, what about phase 2? Can you see that phase 2, this triangle at the back, is going to be exactly the same area as the triangle at the front? Because this is a prism, which means wherever you chop it, you're going to see the same shape, the same cross section. So you're going to see this same triangle, and therefore we know that face number two is going to be 30 centimetres squared as well. What about face number three, this slopey face here? Well, it's just a rectangle, so we can just do the width times the height, that's two multiplied by 13, and that is equal to 26 centimetres squared. And then we've got four, that's this back rectangle here. Well, it's going to be this width here, times this height here. Well this width here we can see is just two centimeters so it's two multiplied by that height which is five and that gives you ten centimeters squared and then finally we've got face number five that's the bottom. Well this is a rectangle again which is twelve by two. So we're going to do twelve times two and that is equal to twenty four centimeters squared. And now we just have to add those all up. So it's 30 plus 30 plus 26 plus 10 plus 24. And that is 120 centimetres squared. So that is the total surface area.